Hello, welcome to the video for the operation of the Wabasto Airtop 2000S. Uh, this is the control panel for it. To turn it on, there's a button on the top right corner. You press that on, it goes green and comes up with a temperature currently on 21 degrees Celsius. You can turn the temperature up and down by rotating the dial. It goes up to 35 degrees and down to 5 degrees and set it anywhere between and just press the button to set it. That will now heat up to 25 degrees Celsius, cut out when the van gets above, kick back in when the van gets below. If you press the button again, it will go to a, a, a time control, currently set on infinite time, but you can turn it down anywhere, any five minute increment from 10 minutes up to two hours. So if you was going to bed, you wanted it to turn off in an hour and 20 minutes, select an hour and 20 and press the, the big button. That will then operate until an hour and 20 minutes has passed and it will shut down. If you press the top right button again, the button goes white and it opens up the settings. In the settings, you have timers, heating, ventilation and settings. I'll run through these with you now. If you press the settings button, your quick start we've already set up for you. That is on 21 degrees and on infinity. Um, again, if you wanted it to start at 25 degrees for one hour, you can just press the quick start button, select your temperature, select it to 25, select your duration, put it on one hour, and that then now has set the quick start to 25 degrees and one hour. So when you turn it on, all you have to do is press the top right button, and that will be set to 25 degrees and one hour. Press the settings button again, and you've got the weekday, we've set that up for you. So that is set on today. Uh, the time, that is also set up for you, but you can change that from there if you need to. The language is set up in English. And the units are in Celsius, but you can change them to Fahrenheit. And the brightness of the screen is on its maximum brightness, which is 10. If it's too bright for you, you can turn it down there. And the screen will time out after 60 seconds. Again, that's the longest time. You can, you can slow that down to 10 seconds and any 10 second increment up to 60. Um, day night setting and system information and error information should you have an error code. Press the button again twice and gets you back to the, to the settings scene, screen. Uh, timers, go to timers, you have the option of setting three timers per day. Click the button to add a timer. And it comes up with the days so let's say you want this to come on on Monday morning half an hour before you leave for work set your time so assume you leave the house at 8 o'clock so let's set it for 7 30 and turn off at 8 and you've got the option of normal or ventilation ventilation is just circulating the air around the van normal is hot air so click normal and then set your temperature so let's say you want the heater to come on if it's below 16 degrees so there you go you, if you look at the top where it says mun one that's your first time is set for monday at the moment it's not active because all the writing is in white and all the background is in black it's just asking you to confirm on at 7 30 off at eight o'clock 16 degrees is the temperature setting if you want that to be activated press it again it asks you to activate press it again and you can see now the mun one at the top has gone into black white writing with a white background that is now set If you want to set another timer, press the top button twice, go back into timers, and you can either delete all, or you can add another timer. Okay, so if you want to add another timer, again, do, do the same timer for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, if you want to. Or if you want to set another one for Monday, for when you come out of work. So let's say you leave work at five, set it for 4.30, to go off at five o'clock. Again on heating, again 16 degrees, and again activate. So that's Mon 2, so that's the second timer for Monday. It's now set for 4.30 at 16 degrees. I'll just delete these timers out for you. That's it, and that's deleted them all. Heating options, again, just set your temperature for, for your, uh, your standard setting and when you click that on, 
the light goes green to show you that it's hot air. So white, if the top light is white, you're in the settings. If it's green, you're creating hot air. If it's a nice hot day, you can go to ventilation, select your level, let's say four, and select your duration. Again, let's say max duration. And you'll see this time, the light has gone blue. So that will now just circulate the cool air around the van, stop the air getting stagnant, help keep the, the inside of the van fresh. To turn it off, just press the top button again, return to the, uh, the settings menu, and then just leave it. It'll time out after about 60 seconds. If you have had hot air running, it may take a minute or two just to run through its shutdown cycle before the fan actually stops. And that's it. Thanks for watching.